In this video, let's prepare our React code to access the Redux store. The first step is to install the React Redux package, which provides us with components and functions that we can use. So in the terminal, within the React project folder, run the command npm install react hyphen redux. Restart the server with npm run dev. For step two, we need to make the Redux store available to the React component tree. And this is where the React Redux library makes its first appearance. To provide the Redux store to our React application, the React Redux library exports a component called provider. In main.jsx, which could be index.js if you've used create react app, at the top, import provider from React Redux. Next, we wrap the app component with the provider component. But hang on, how does the provider component know about our Redux store? Well, we need to specify that as a prop. At the top, I'm going to import store from dot slash app slash store dot js. Now on the provider component, we can specify a prop called store and pass in the store that we have created. One important point is to make note of where you provide your store. Typically, it is at the top of the component tree, as you can see here. That is simply because the provider component uses React context under the hood and will provide the store to every component in your application. All right, that is pretty much the code necessary for connecting a React app with Redux. We can now start reading values from the store and dispatch actions to the store. Let's see how to do that in the next video.